Hi everybody, welcome to Fiber Fun with Olivia. My name is Olivia. I am a knitter and crocheter and I like to geek out and nerd out on anything fiber related. I hope you do too. Welcome to another episode of Whips, Sips and Fiber Fun Chitter Chatter. This is a video that I tend to do on Fridays, sometimes on Saturdays, depending on how life is going, but usually on Fridays. Um, and usually I like to do them every week unless life gets crazy busy, which it has, as many of you know, I've been a little bit of a MIA missing in action for the past few weeks with the exception of my sweater update video. Apologies, life gets crazy. I know I've mentioned this over and over, but I continue to mention it just in case some of my newer subscribers haven't heard this before. It's kind of a little disclaimer just in case I ever do disappear for a few weeks. Um, basically, my life is crazy. My life is crazy busy and we all have crazy busy lives, don't we? I have my job, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a happy mom, happy wife, happy social life, happy work life, uh, very, very busy and my job is, is extremely busy. I love it, but it's extremely busy. And, um, and it goes through its times, just like everybody else probably, where some times are busier than others. And the spring is definitely some of my busiest times. So that's kind of why I disappeared. So I do apologize for that. But I do that because that's the only way that I can continue doing this YouTube channel. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to, to have a YouTube channel. If I set myself these strict rules on I must do this then, and I just, I can't do it with my life. I just can't. So I love knitting and crocheting. I hope you are flexible with me when I pop up on YouTube and when I disappear for a little bit. Hopefully the disappearing won't happen too often, but when I absolutely cannot help it and then my health is involved, then I'm gonna choose my health and my family time. Uh, you know, I've gotta take care of me. I've gotta take care of me. So sometimes I have to do that and um, I have to take care of myself so that I can come back and continue to do this. So thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for all the messages that everybody sent out on Instagram, via email. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all. And before I get mushy, why don't we go ahead and get started? Okay, so what am I sipping on today? I am, am sipping on a green tea, green iced tea. As many of you know, or maybe some of you don't know, I subscribed to a tea subscription by Harney and & Sons, and it was my full-on intention to do a separate video for that, and I might continue to do that moving forward, but I didn't have a chance to do it this past month, so I'm gonna share with you what they sent me this past month. Here is my little box where they send me my teas. I already took the stuff out and I have it out here ready to share with you. So what I got for this month, meaning the month of April. Yeah, because they're already gonna ship. They're already, I already got the notification that they're gonna send me my May box. So this was for April. I've been drinking this. I love it. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I love it. Um, Harney and Sons Emerald Isles flavored green tea. I even love the little box. It's so cute. Let me show you what the tea looks like. You can choose loose leaf tea or the tea that comes in the sachets, and I did choose the loose leaf tea. So that's what it looks like. Oh, and it smells so yummy, you guys. Okay, let me read you the description on Emerald Isle Tea. It says, lush and fine green tea with a zing of citrus from orange peel and a mixture of citrus flavors rounded off with fresh spearmint. It's exactly that. It's green tea with a little zing of citrus. You can definitely taste a little bit of the orange and with a little zing of spearmint. Not so much so that it takes it over, but just enough that it gives it that extra little minty flavor. Oh my God, it's so delicious, you guys. It's so delicious. So this is what they sent me for the month of April along with 
the little card that talks about the tea of the month. And then they did send me, as they usually do, two little packets for me to try. This one is organic Ruiba chai, earthy with Indian spices. And this one is calming chamomile. So looking for, I love chamomile. So yeah, so this is what I got. And this is what I'm drinking because you can have it hot, but I make it iced and I love this. So let's take our first sip, shall we? Mmm, so refreshing. The weather's starting to get warm. Well, warm for us in Northern California. It's kind of in the upper 60s, lower 70s, depending on what part of the Bay Area you're in. Um, but it's nice. It's really nice. All right, let's get started, shall we? So today I'm super, super excited to share with you an FO, finished object. I am so excited about this. If you follow me on Instagram, also Fiber Fun with Olivia, then you've seen it. But I'm gonna show it to you here. And then I don't have any whips to share with you other than the ones that I've had that have kind of been put on the side. I haven't been doing very much crochet and knitting other than after my big event this past week, I started making this really quickly, my FO that I'm about to share with you. So it's the only FO that I have to share with you. Um, but I also have some purchases, <laughs> some yarny purchases. Some of them um, you know about, and uh, you'll, you'll understand why I'm saying you know about this. And some of them you don't. I got them for Mother's Day. Did you all, for those of you who are mommies, did you all have a good Mother's Day? I felt extremely spoiled this Mother's Day. They're not always like that. I don't, I don't have very high expectations. Um, not in a bad way. I just, you know, I just, life is busy and I don't know. I, I'm kind of rambling now, but I, I just didn't have very high expectations. And um, they asked me, what do you want to do? And I'm like, well, I have been wanting to go to a local yard shop. <laughs> and they said, well, let's go. And I was like, really? Really? <laughs> so I will tell you a little bit about that experience as well and my yarny purchases. Let's get started with my finished object. You guys know about this pattern. I know you do. And if you don't, I'll be shocked. I made a mesa hat and I'm saying it in Spanish mesa but you know if you don't speak Spanish you probably pronounce it mesa I think Tony Lipsy who is the designer of this hat pronounces it mesa either is fine <laughs> I mean it is her design so she gets to choose but um yeah mesa hat this is a Tunisian crochet hat this is a stash busting hat. Let me show you what yarn I used. I used some Craft Smart yarn from Michaels. Look at this. It's all, I need to cake this up because it's like a hot mess. And this is in the color purple violet. It's a worsted weight yarn. And I paired it up with some Ferris wheel. You guys know I love Ferris wheel. And this is in the color Cotton Candy. It has that light blue, the purple, um, almost like an ocean green or teal. It's so pretty. So I decided to combine these up in this project and top it with a teal pom-pom. And it is a snap-on pom-pom. I bought these through Amazon and I just, I love them. They snap on and I think it looks so pretty. This is where my seam is. My, I learned how to do, what is it called? Backstitch? Backflip? <laughs> I don't know. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, but this is my first time doing it. Um, Tony Lipsy does have a free tutorial on YouTube. I will link it down below so you can check it out. And if you want to purchase the pattern, you can. And I did. I purchased the PDF pattern so I could um, kind of use both. I ended up using the PDF 
very little, maybe just to see what yarn I needed, but she explains all of that in her video. And she has the hat and the scarf, as you can see here. I decided to just make the hat, but honestly, I enjoyed this so much that I might be making the scarf. I don't know if I have enough yarn left. We'll see. I might give it a try. But anyway, back to the hat. It is a Tunisian crochet hat. And if you don't know what Tunisian crochet is, Tony Lipsy is the queen of Tunisian crochet. I can't believe I hadn't made this. But you know what? Sometimes you're not ready. Sometimes you're not ready when you see certain patterns and you're into other stuff and you get to it when you get to it. And I'm really glad that I got to it now because I really enjoyed it. Had I forced myself to make it some other time, I may not have enjoyed it as much. And so I, it was very fun, very quick to make. I made it in two half days, I want to say. Um, I love the texture of this. It has some front post. They're not, well, the Tunisian crochet version of front post double crochets. That's kind of how she does it. And it's just so pretty. Let me show you the inside because I always wonder how the inside looks, but nobody shows it. <laughs> or I haven't seen where people show it, but this is what the inside looks like. You would think it's a hot mess, but it's really not. Um, I was carrying the yarn and if you, you know, I'm sharing information that is no surprise because it, it is on her uh, uh, free tutorial video here on YouTube. So none of this is anything that I'm giving away from a paid pattern. She shares it on her free tutorial. Um, but yeah, so you're always carrying up both yarns and it's not that big of a deal. You are only working with one yarn at a time. This is made in the flat. So you're making like this rectangle and you're using one yarn and then you use the other yarn and you leave that one dangling and then you go to the other one. So you're kind of going back and forth, but you're never really using two yarn colors at once, if that makes sense, because um, it looks a little bit intimidated. I mean, it did to me. I felt like, oh my gosh, can I do that? But it is so easy, you guys, especially if you're following her tutorial. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy with this. So this is my Mesa hat and this is my finished object. I don't know who I'm going to give it to. I'm not a hat person. I get hot, one. And number two, I don't look good in hats. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I suppose, yeah. I don't feel like I look good in hats. Some people look so cute, and I think it's because of their hair. Like when you have the hair dangling, it just looks so pretty. I don't have big, fluffy, long hair anymore. I used to a long time ago. Um, so yeah, I don't know where this is gonna go, but um, I enjoyed it, and I might even make another one with more yarn, because I have a lot of colorful yarn, self-striping, uh, self, uh, that would look really pretty with this. So um, it is in worsted weight, like I said, and it uses a size K, Tunisian hook so um, it's a big hook which is why the project and this is the string that I have I have a whole set um, I, I really want to make a video just about this set because it is a really good set um, let me see if I can go grab it really quick here we go it's by Knitter's Pride I always forget I got this set a while back and it comes with different size strings and see I haven't taken them all out it comes with all these little things that you can use for your Tunisian crochet projects and it snaps back in and then and here are the hooks they're beautiful they're wooden and they're beautiful um, and then you can use this I think to hold your pattern and it stands and it it's magnetic or something. I don't know. I don't use that part. I really don't. I just take out the hook that I need. Um, but the point is that I really like the hook set. Um, they're nice and strong. They're beautiful. They have enough of a point that it makes it easier to go in between the stitches, but it's not so pointy or long. Some hooks can have a really long point where when you're pulling back you have to pull all the way back because you know that point is long and that's not the case with this one 
This one is just right in my very humble opinion. So it made for a very easy Tunisian crochet stitching. I just, I loved it. I really loved it. So I do like that, um, that set very much. This isn't the first time I use it. Um, so I do know I love it. Anyway, I wanted to show that super quick. And just in case you're interested, I mean, I know I already showed you the pattern. This is the picture and it's on her website. And also you can buy it off of her Ravelry. She shares more pictures and more information on the other pages and it has the pattern. It's so easy, you guys, so easy. So I really, really recommend it. I'm super happy with my project and I love the colors too. Let's get to the yarn, shall we? So first I'm gonna share the yarn that I mentioned that you already know about because I shared it. You all know that I wanna make a shawl the pattern that the pattern calls for pricey yarn. And when I was talking about that in a prior video, I said, well, I suppose I could get a skein of yarn every month. And I was kind of half kidding. And I thought there's no way I'm gonna be patient enough to do that well I've been doing that I've been doing just that ordering one skein per month let me share them with you so let me take them all out and I will share them all with you which one was the first one that I bought let me see let me take them all out of this crinkly paper they wrap them up in this lovely tissue paper that has their little logo sheep yeah it's like a sheep or a you <laughs> with um, an eye what are they called it's kind of like a little pirate an eye patch on them okay let's get to the yarn <laughs> okay this is the first one that I purchased the name of the line is Dream State, and it is 100% American wool, super wash, 150 yards of worsted weight. This is in the color Shades of Earth. So this is the one that I have already shared with you in the past. I still think it is so lovely. The next one that I purchased is in the shade Absolute Zero. You guys know I love my blues, my greens, my purples, and my pinks. And of course black, blacks and grays. I don't know if it shows on camera, you guys, but this is beautiful, beautiful. And then the third one that I just got recently for the month of May <laughs> is in the color Good Omen. How pretty is this, you guys? Oh, I feel like I need two of these. <laughs> and the thing about these skeins is that they're all so different because they're you know they're hand dyed and so all of them can look really different and if you go to the website it'll show for each color different parts of different skeins of that same color line but they'll all look different because depending on what part of the yarn you got it could look completely different so um, and here they are all together it's either gonna look like a crazy hot mess or it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. And since I am a positive thinking half, the glass half full kind of gal, I'm gonna opt for, it's gonna look beautiful. <laughs> so these are my three skeins that I have so far. I have three more to go. So that means June, July, August. So once I get my August one, I might get it started for September just in time for the cold season. So maybe I'll even be able to wear it this winter. Yay! I'm so excited. So excited. So I know it kind of sounds crazy, but you know what? We can't all afford six skeins right off the bat, right? So 
It was either find something less expensive, and that would have been fine too. Use your stash. I do that for so many things, and I've done that for decades now. But now that I'm older, you guys, I guess I'm at a point in my life where I'll have a little bit more patience and just get a little bit here, a little bit there, and you know, the wait is worth it because you end up having something that you really, really want. So. We'll see how it comes out, but this is what I have so far. Let me know what you think. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me say the names again. This is Good Omen, Absolute Zero, and what is this one? Shades of Earth. They're all so beautiful, I love them. Okay, now last but not least is my trip to a beautiful, beautiful yarn shop. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, as many of you already know, and it was my goal to visit multiple yarn shops in the Bay Area, and I haven't had a chance to do that as much as I wanted, and here we are in May. Anyway, this is a yarn shop in Berkeley, California, that I had been wanting to visit for a long time now. I follow them on Instagram. I'm always seeing what they post and they have events and I, I, you know, I haven't been able to make it and it is a little bit further out from me. I used to live in Berkeley a long, long time ago when I was a college student, long, long time ago, <laughs> decades ago. Um, this yarn shop wasn't there back then, um, but now, it is there and so when my hubby and kiddos asked me what I wanted to do for Mother's Day I told them I want to go see Guardians of the Galaxy with all all of you so as a family we went to go see the movie we were so happy we had like a full-on discussion in the car afterwards about all the different scenes what we like because we're geeks and nerds and we love all that stuff um, and then I asked to go to this yarn shop. It's called The Black Squirrel in Berkeley, California. As soon as I walked in, you guys, the woman there was super friendly. Welcome to The Black Squirrel. And she said, you know, come on in. And I had my hubby and two kiddos with me. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes there are yarn shops where they're like, hmm, you know, like, I don't know. It, you just get this weird feel. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes they're amazing like this one. This one was amazing and welcoming of me and my whole troop with me, <laughs> my two kiddos and my hubby. My hubby did end up going outside. He's like, oh, wait for you outside. And my kiddos were just kind of like they made themselves at home on the floor in a little corner, even though they had like sofas and stuff. But there were ladies knitting in there and um, crocheting. Anyway, long story short, I saw so many lines of yarn there that I have never heard of. And as I was talking with the woman there, she was telling me that they like to support small uh, indie dyer brands um, that are women owned, LGBTQX, um, BIPOC owned, and I love that. I am all about that. So I love that, I support that. Not only that, but the yarn was beautiful, you guys. It was beautiful and it was soft and it was just, I was overwhelmed by so much beauty. And also, as I'm walking around, I'm seeing mannequins with a ton of shawls and, you know, scarves and they're all so pretty. And I see one of them and it was a pattern that I recognized that I had recently purchased. It's called the Perfectionist Trap and it's a shawl, I think, yeah, per the perfectionist trap. And I was touching it because the yarn was so soft and so pretty, and I'm like, oh, I recognize this pattern. And the woman says, oh, I designed this. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, that was my inside. I was trying to play it cool, but I was so not cool because I was, like, starstruck immediately. I'm like, wait, you, did you just say you designed this? She's like, yeah, that's one of my earlier designs. And I'm like, Oh my God, I actually bought this pattern and I started geeking out. Oh my God, I started geeking out. I was so excited. And then she got excited because she was like, oh my God, you bought my pattern. And, and I said, I haven't made it yet, but oh my God, I totally recognize it. And so we started chatting. She was so friendly. Her name is, let me see if you guys want to follow her. Her name is Kate. Well, on Instagram, she is at Casey Knits. I will put her information down below. Um, 
she was so sweet so sweet so nice so friendly i have been oogling her patterns on ravelry <laughs> I purchased that one, but I'm like in the back of my mind and it's in my Ravelry queue and I knew that I wanted to make more, but you know, I'd stop myself and I'm like, okay, Olivia, you know, let's, let's make some patterns first and then before you buy more, right? Anyway, I was fangirling. That's what I was doing. I was fangirling because I could not believe that I met Casey who had this who designed this pattern that I purchased and that I've seen online forever. I even follow the hashtag to see how everybody makes it and all the pretty colors and all the pretty yarn. Anyway, <laughs> that's my story of going to this local yarn shop. And then I even told her I have, I have a small, small YouTube channel. Don't have high expectations. Like, no, no. She was so friendly. She's like, can I follow you? And so she followed me on Instagram. She's like, oh my God, you already follow me. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I was thinking, yes, I already follow you. <laughs> anyway, Oh my God, you guys, I was just so happy that day when I left my kiddo, my kiddos and hubs, they were like, oh my God, you're so happy. I was so happy. This was like the best Mother's Day ever because I went to a yarn shop. And so I got to get, oh, and the other shawl that I saw made up on the mannequin and it was so lovely was the pressed flower shawl. I have been oogling that one it's a knit shawl um i've been oogling that on instagram as well and so she had that pattern there made up and so um i decided to buy some yarn that she had there actually that she herself dyed it's her own line and so i decided to buy some of that in combination with another yarn line that i had never heard of but that i loved and so let me show you what i got it's in this little bag so I got two of these, and these are the ones that she dyes herself. Casey Knits Hand Dyed in California. Check that out. OMG, and I should tell you a little bit about it. This is a Sparkle Silk DK, 75% Merino, 20% Silk, and 5% Stellina. 231 yards or 100 grams hand wash only the colorway is oil slick this is so soft you guys it is so soft it feels like alpaca it really does i actually thought it had alpaca in it but it's it's really really soft anyway look at those colors oh love it so so much so i got two of those for the pressed flowers shawl that I want to make. And again, the line is called Casey Knits. That's her line of yarn that she dyes. And along with these, I also got three, and this is it. <laughs> three like it's not enough um it's way more than enough of this nerd string yarn so if you've seen the pressed flower shawl this is going to be the solid and then the little flowers are going to be in this kind of South striping yarn. I will try to put a picture up here somewhere so you can see what shawl I'm talking about. I'll also link whatever link I could find down in the description box. So I got three of these and okay, let me tell you a little bit about this one. This one is in the color half shell. It's a DK, it's 100% superwash merino, 231 yards, 100 grams. Um, this says hand wash recommended for prolonged beauty, machine wash on gentle for the brave, dry flat, alternating skeins is wise. So I got three of these and they are not only lovely, but they are soft, soft, you guys. I don't know. I was just feeling like the neutrals. This neutral combined with this, I think it'll look so pretty. So I'm excited to see how that comes out. I'm a little bit worried that the Stellina 
might take away from the flowers maybe, but I'm, I'm hoping I am incorrect and it actually adds. I want more of this yarn for a different project. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that was my yarn shopping <laughs> on Mother's Day at the Black Squirrel in Berkeley, California. I had so much fun. I had so much fun. I don't think Casey will be watching, but if she does, Casey, thank you. You, It was great meeting you and it was absolutely fun to like nerd out together on yarn and colors and to get to try your yarn. <laughs> anyway, that's it everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back, I'm back. I have more time on my hands so you'll be seeing me more regularly on Fridays, hopefully for whips, sips, and fiber fun chitter chatter. I also do have a video coming up on a new yarn subscription um, that I want to share with you all. So that's coming soon too. Or maybe you saw that before this one. I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to upload first. We shall see, but I know that this one goes up on Friday. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will talk to you later. Bye!